Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How is your Sunday progressing so far, Steve? Let me know. Uh, I'm okay. <clears throat> Personally, I've... You know, typically, as is the case with me, <coughs> I've had a been a bit under the weather last couple of days. I've had some, had a bit of illness going on, um, but you know, nothing new for me. It's pretty much par for the course, apparently. It's about to get a lot better. Oh, dude, love it. That's the energy we need. That is indeed the energy we need. Yes, I'm very, very, very excited for this one. We've got uh, quite a few games here. Quite a few games. <clears throat> um, hmm. I'm just learning that one of our... The, the, the Game Jam channel on Discord, I think maybe I need to fix some permissions there. But uh, that is not too important right now. Hey, Ben. Hey, hey, hey. Good to see you. Hope you're doing okay, dude. How's your Sunday going? Let me know what you've been up to. Has... Oh, thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm glistening. I am glistening in this heat. It is a lovely day. It is blistering outside. Um, and the neighbours are all outside, and so I've got the windows closed, and I'm very much looking forward to being able to open those windows. Uh, so that will <laughs> hopefully be sooner rather than later, because it is really hot in this room. Got my ginger beer, got my water, got the switch. I think we're all good. <clears throat> uh, I take it that the audio is coming through okay. Hey, cat. <laughs> Hello from upstairs. <clears throat> ben, two huge coursework's down, two exams to go. Ah, oh, that's it though, mate. Keep going. Keep it up. I promise you that one day you'll be wishing. Wishing for some coursework. You'll be begging for some coursework again. Actually, I don't know, to be honest. that's. It feels like the right thing to say. I don't know if that's true, actually. I don't I don't miss it that bad. Um, But yeah, keep going, dude. You're... Uh, you're a legend. Legend and a soldier and a scholar. And something else. Some other sort of profession. Are you excited for this game jam? Are you ready for this game jam? It's been a while since we've had an asset restriction game jam. And um, I'm very excited to see what people have come up with. Um... There we go. If I do that, and that, and that, and that, does that fix it? That should fix the permissions on the channel there. <clears throat> How are you doing, Andy? Have you had a good Sunday so far? What have you been up to? And as usual, we'll just sort of hang out for a little bit until 7 p.m. when the official uh, time begins. Am I... Are we expecting a... Oops. Are we expecting a Vinicity program here, or has that already been updated in the list? Yes, it has. Okay, great, yeah. So we're not, not waiting on anybody... Um, cool. All right, all looks good, all looks good. How are we doing? Is anyone celebrating this wondrous, momentous occasion of a weekend? 
<laughs> um, it's not really my bag, I must say, but uh, there's a lot of celebration going on just around. We just went out for a walk, uh, and the streets were filled, packed to the brim, brimming with, um, <laughs> with delight. <laughs> There was, no, there was like a couple of gatherings going on. It looked very nice. Some barbecues happening and the like. It's perfect weather for a barbecue, actually. Tis rather, tis rather. <laughs> Been doing your best to avoid it. <laughs> Steve, how would I put money on your response being like that, actually? But uh, for, for good reason, for good reason. I would have thought you'd fall fairly similarly on uh, as me there. But, you know, I do like the idea of a lot of people in the country feeling some sense of, you know, some unity or something like that. I forgot it was going on until like 11 o'clock. <laughs> Is it? Is that... I, I, I don't know what the official uh, itinerary... What the royal itinerary is. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm somewhat out of the loop on that. Um... Ooh, how's my game sounds here? It feels like it's very, very quiet. Let me just up my volume a tad. Up it a tad. Oh, yeah. Super low. Not bad. Drove in-laws to the airport as they are emigrating to Cyprus. No parties, though. you had a couple of drinks. Nice. <laughs> very nice, Andre. Is that Cyprus? Uh... <laughs> so where... <laughs> The area where I uh, where I live, there's a nearby there's like a nearby estate that's got the word Cyprus in there. Um, so that wouldn't be much of an emigration. It's just sort of you know driving up the M40 really, down the M40 probably for you. Hey, Vanicity, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. My own itinerary doesn't involve the news very much. Yeah, yeah, mine. I'm the same, Ben. I'm the same. Uh, you know, I've got my own. Um, field of view when it comes to these things and I, I don't really make much of an effort. Congratulations on your new king. Well, thank you very much indeed, Vanicity. It's a wondrous occasion and um, yes, I, I do expect you're all feeling rather jealous. The foreign one, lot. <laughs> yeah. Well, if the weather's like this over there, it's going to be extremely nice and to be honest, a bit too hot for me. A bit too hot for little old Dave. Yeah, I don't do too well in the heat. Not, you know, not much of like a super sunbathy sort of, as you can probably tell from my complexion. <laughs> I rather like staying indoors. Um, but, you know, outside's fine. A walk every now and again is all right, isn't it? Okay, so I think we're at a good sort of point here. Um, we're at 7 o'clock, so we might as well get started get things underway why not people will uh, be flooding in at some point i'm sure i'm sure all right so hello and welcome again to a fuse game jam it's very very nice to be back uh, i believe there was a bit of a postponement uh, of sorts happening um because the month of may uh, for uh, my family is, is a rather jam-packed one because we have a lot of birthdays that fall all around this sort of same sort of time. So, um, uh, so it wasn't the best chance uh, for a game jam weekend, but we are here now and we have got a brand new game jam for you today. So thank you very much for stopping by. If you are uh, with us live, that's awesome. Uh, and I look forward to seeing all your comments. Um, but uh, if you are watching this after the fact as an upload, then uh, hi, thank you very much for stopping by. Hope that you enjoy the video. So this game jam theme is a little bit different. Normally, we we um, if you're not fully aware, uh, a fuse game jam is where we we give a theme for um, for the fuse community, and then they go off and work like crazy on their fantastic creations around that theme. Uh, and this theme is a little bit different. We are using an asset restriction here. So the assets that you well, the asset restriction is that you must use a particular asset. You must use a particular asset. So it's not that you can't use certain assets, but your game must feature a particular asset. And that asset is um, a cake for the rather befitting 
um, birthday that I had last weekend. Um, so <laughs> you can never have enough cake, as I always say. Uh, although I have eaten my fair share, more than actually my fair share. I quite literally had more than my fair share of cake last week. Um, but it was really nice, so I have no regrets. And, you know, you don't turn 31 every day, so cake it is. So the choices are, there is a uh, there's a 2D pixel art cake, which is rather nice, and then there is also a 3D cake option as well. Um, I'm not going to bother showing you them right now because it will become eminently clear what those cakes are uh, in just a moment when we start seeing the games. Uh, there will be a, a very consistent thread of cake assets that I'm sure you will notice uh, and it, it doesn't take, you know, the highest level of shrewdness to, to pick it up. So, yeah. So the last asset restriction game jam that we had was actually quite a long time ago. And it featured a very different sort of character. And we had some amazing games in there. Um, so I'm really excited to see what sort of games we get today. Um, when it's your birthday, your fair share is all the cake. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Although it's not conducive to having more people at your birthday parties ever again. <laughs> But, oh my word, it was a good cake. My mum made this coffee and walnut cake, and it was delightful, I must say. The icing was just... Oh, oh coffee and walnut cake is one of my favourites. That and lemon drizzle. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> enough... <laughs> well, I'd say enough cake, but we are going to have a lot more cake, so there, there is definitely not an upper limit on this uh, today. <clears throat> so, without much more preamble... Let's get started with uh, downloading one of these amazing games, shall we? Oh, I'm getting some cake heresy, actually, in the chat. We're getting some truly blasphemous opinions. Uh, red Velvet Cake. Okay. You know, I've never known. Has that got, like... Does Red Velvet... Is it just in the look? Or is there a flavour to it as well? It's never one that I've really dipped my toes in too much. Although you shouldn't dip your toes into cake. It's not, again, not conducive to the enjoyment of the average guest. Uh, strawberry cake is the best. I'm not personally much of a fan of strawberry flavouring when it comes to, well, anything really, actually. Uh, Mandarin cheesecake, Steve. Very exotic. Very this real highbrow cake selection going on in this chat. I didn't know. I mean, I'm just coming here with my, uh, you know, my peasant sort of cakes. And you're all too, too, too good for me with these, with these rather nice cakes. It's a very nice type of cake. Yeah, I've seen them. I've never. I don't think I've ever had one. Velvet flavor doesn't. Yeah, I don't think it's <laughs> the texture of velvet would be strange to eat. Ben Rocky Road isn't a cake type. You can't have that. Although I respect it. Okay, it's it's not one of those posh posh cakes, but it is. Um, it is a rather enjoyable, delightful treat. A Rocky Road. Who doesn't like a Rocky Road anyway? <laughs> oh dear, right, okay. <laughs> Hi Andy G85, good to see you, hope you're doing well, hope you're having a nice uh, Sunday so far. Uh, okay, right, that's enough That's enough chat, let's, let's download a game, shall we? So let's go into our programs, and as usual, I'm going to put a game code uh, in the download ID section there on the stream overlay. And we'll get this downloaded, and you can all download it and play along as well. Let's put this in here. There it is on the screen right now. And what you do is you press, oops, you press the Y button in the programs menu, if you didn't already know by now, and we just enter this code in. It's not case sensitive, so don't worry about that. XLWM2N. You have to go backwards and forwards. M2ND5M, MD5M. Okay, I'm just going to try and adjust my screens here slightly so I don't have to look. What have I got wrong there? XLWM to MND. Of course it's MND. It's always MND. Um, and that is the game code there. We just got the chat back up so it's nice and visible. Okay. Awesome. Good to see that you're in time for once, Andy. Lovely to have you here, mate. No matter what time you arrive. Uh, go animate flogs 289 What an interesting username. I don't believe that I have seen you here before. I'm not sure. Um, but if it is your first time, then thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, and uh, if not, then welcome back. 
You prefer chocolate cake, but it's not chocolate. It's shorter. They're called brownies, but nice to see you. <laughs> you can't beat a good brownie, can you? Especially, um, I mean, yeah, actually, I was going to say my sister, but obviously I have three sisters, and they actually all make pretty fantastic brownies, it has to be said. So I'm very lucky in that regard. Devious, more of a pie guy. Is that, um, is that savoury pies or like a fruit, you know, like an apple pie? Banoffee pie is the daddy. I must say, it's very diverse in here when it comes to cake selection. Uh, that's good to see. Okay, let's get this downloaded. I mean, I can, I think you can tell already that there is going to be uh, more than the odd tangent uh, in this stream when it comes to cakes. I think we're going to be... <laughs> Indulging a fair few sort of tangents. <laughs> I prefer pie to pie. Oh, you and your transcendental cakes, Ben, okay? You can't have infinite cakes. All pies are good. That is quite the claim. Quite the claim indeed. But, I mean, I can't think of many pies I don't like. Um, although, yeah, I'm not much of a fan of, like, cooked fruit. I love savoury pies, though. And look, there you go again. Uh, right, so let's get this game. <laughs> should we start this game? Should we actually should we do something? Uh, before we do, though, I have to say one last thing, and that is, if you are joining us, uh, please don't forget to like the stream. Uh, it, obviously, it does something. Um, I believe it makes life better for everyone, I'm, I'm, I'm told. Um, but, I mean, you might as well click it, uh, because we all love a big number, don't we? And currently, it is a number... And you have the power, you alone have that power, to make that number x plus 1. And so why not? Why not do it? You might as well. We all love seeing that. Do we not? Look at that. Fantastic. Uh, it obviously, it means a great deal. It helps a lot. Um, so, right. Okay. Let's have a read of this comment section. What we have here is a Richard game. There's always space for cake. Mmm, I'm... Am I detecting some sort of space sci-fi cake theme going on? Perhaps. We will see. Um, can we get some Richard hype in the chat? If you please. Uh, it's always nice to see the hype in the chat. Um, and when we've got sufficient hype levels, I shalt beginst the game. F. Tenth. We love a good two-digit like number. Well done. Well done, everyone. That is truly... Playing ball there. Rich, this game is insanely awesome. Come on, Dave. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's some good hype. That's three out of three hype levels requisite. We've reached our prerequisite hype levels. Let's begin. This is There's Always Space for Cake by Richard. Excellent, excellent. We've got a nicely scaled cake there. Melon Kid, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Melon Kid. Hope you're doing well. Uh, okay, press A to start. Level 1, press A to launch. Okay, yes, so perhaps a space theme. I'm... Oh, wow, okay, we've got a, we've got a shooter. We've got a nice sort of invincibility uh, thing going on there. And we've also got... We've also got a lovely parallax star effect there with some fading out, um, getting closer to black there in the distance. Really nice effect. I mean, this is... This is rather nice already, I must say. Consummate little... Oh, we've got a cake power up there. And we must, of course, grab that. Look at this. Richard, I don't believe I've seen... I don't believe I have seen you put out a shoot -em up like this. Oh, we've got a nice power up here, look. We've got dual action shots. For when enemies invariably approaches from behind, I believe. That could be a bit of foreshadowing. Oh, nice, nice. How can you not love that? It's giving me a Gradius and a Parodius vibes. I mean, this is consummate, Richard. This is just... This is just a fully functioning little... Oh, look at that, look at that. Oh, here's me pressing the A button repeatedly. You can just hold it down. Oh, we love this. This is scratching all the Parodius itch. 
Did anybody play Parodius in the chat? I used to love that game. Absolutely love that game. So, so daft, but brilliant and very difficult as well. Uh oh, we've got a boss. Nice, slow down. Oh, excellent. Uh oh, we're gonna have to do some sideways shooting here, I think. Let's try and get all those jet streams there, look. And then back to the side. Some tactical stuff going on here. Oh, come on, this damage. Is it me or is the boss getting redder and redder? Because that would be a really cool... Uh, that's something that... Oh, excellent. Look at those explosions. Fantastic. Level transition. Oh, Richard. Beautiful. This is... This is a delicious slice of cake. Steve, of course I play Parodius. Of course you play Parodius, mate. I mean, yeah, of course. Um, I just want to make a very slight adjustment here to my light. Let me just tip that slightly to the side and then just mop up these bad guys. I wonder how many more power up differences we get because we've got some serious firepower now. I mean, there's not many more angles of fire that we can even fit in now. Quality game. Love a good shmup. Indeed, indeed. Hey there, Retro Yo-Yo. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, are you also a newcomer to the few streams? I'm not sure I recognize your name, but forgive me, I do I do forget sometimes. Uh, if not, then welcome back, and if so, then lovely to have you here. Okay, we've got a slightly different attack pattern. This is... Richard, you really have done some fantastic work here, it has to be said. We've got multiple boss attacks. There's a lot to learn from in this. There's a lot to learn from in this. Retro Yo-Yo. Euro. Oh, yes. I read Retro Yo-Yo, and for some reason that doesn't register, but that's your actual name, the actual name that you have. That, that does ring a bell. Okay, well, we're doing fairly well. I don't want to speak too soon. But it looks like we are quite the powerhouse right now. Just reeking destruction on this star system. Just lovely enemy patterns. Look at these sine waves of enemies happening. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, there's a... There's just a full shmup right here. Next boss. Oh, this one doesn't look so... Uh-oh, this guy's got some... Ooh. Okay. We need to try and keep him in the in the most optimum line of fire. Do some sort of circling around, some invasion. Oh, just sneak past that bullet there. Just slippery, slippery Johnson. They call me. That's the name of the pilot of this ship. Awesome AI going on here for the enemy. This is great stuff. Richard. Ooh. Absolutely phenomenal work. Oh, he's taking some killing. Uh-oh, these shots are getting a little bit faster. It's just, uh, ooh, it's sweet. Nice. Nice. Congratulations, you saved space for cake. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Richard, fantastic. We get a huge round of applause, please, for Richard. That is a fantastic game. Totally polished. You can't fault that at all. Lovely use of the theme. Cake power-ups. What more couldst thou want? Wantest. Indeed a quality pun. 
Uh, I forgot to mention that I was one of the people who came to the Fuse Centre with my school back on the 29th of March this year. If you don't remember, then that's fine. Um, go on and make vlogs 289. Uh, we do get a, quite a few people in the Fuse Centre, but I... Um, 29th of March, I'm... Um... I, I'm struggling to remember. I remember people's names, but obviously you don't need to share your name. Um, but thank you so much for coming, and thank you so much for being here in the Fuse streams. That really means a great deal, uh, and it's just so cool. That's exactly what we want for people to come to the Fuse Center, see what it's all about, and then to get involved in the community. So thank you, and you're awesome for doing that. Um, saved space for cake. Bravo, Rich. Lots of applause. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We love that. Right, well done, Richard. Fantastic stuff. Great use of the theme. Love a good pun. It's off to a very strong start. Off to a very strong start indeed. Let's have a look at the next game. Let's get it loaded up. Um, put the game code in the chat here. This one is from... Son of Richard. Son of Richard Isaac. A very noble name. Can we get some theme? Theme? Can we get some hype? <laughs> I was just about to double click on something that said theme and so I said theme can we get some hype slash theme for uh, Isaac <laughs> in the chat please uh, and I'm just going to put the download code in here let's get this downloaded let's go and download this theme hype excellent yep Isaac theme <laughs> What a piece of cake. Yes, indeed, indeed. We do love a good pun. Uh, right. 1M22. <laughs> Next month's theme equals hype. Mike, it's good to see you, mate. Always a pleasure, dude. Thank you for stopping by, mate. Uh, that is not, <laughs> it's not a bad idea for a theme, actually. But that'll be giving the game away. So maybe in about seven months when everyone's forgotten. M-N-D-X-R. Although we get some very interesting... Tell you what, Mike, you should have told me that privately because it's actually a fair, decent idea, that. Um, right. MNDXR, let's get that in there. Here we go. Here we go. Dave's present. Oh, look at that. That's how you win favour. That is how you curry favour. Dave's present by Isaac, age 12. Has it ever been a quiet day at the office and you're like, hmm, what should I do? Well, this is the answer to office boredom. Avoid red herrings. It is your present. Um, that is a quite the ominous, <laughs> quite the ominous line. Exactly seven months would also be giving it away. Yes, Ben, you're not wrong. Um, it was something of red herring, perhaps. Uh, myself, to throw you off the scent. It's actually going to be tomorrow. No, it won't. Okay, right, here we go. This is Dave's present. Here it is. Dave's present by Isaac H12. Press A to start to get a present from Isaac for your birthday. <laughs> Press L and R to give Isaac a present. To give Isaac a present? This is not what I signed up for. <laughs> Here is a cake. Just for you. Happy birthday, Dave. I made this cake just for you. So you have cake and eat it because I didn't beg you for a workshop like you thought I would. <laughs> oh, Isaac. Oh, look at that. Classic. Absolutely love these Isaac classics. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, I love your sense of humour, mate. I really do. You've got such a fantastic sense of humour. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Big round of applause for Isaac, please. With Dave's present. <laughs> and uh, I hope I am a present. Surely it shouldn't be passed. <laughs> oh, they never get old, these, Isaac, okay? You have my express permission to reuse this theme as many times as you wish. It just gets funnier every time. I love it. I really do. Excellent stuff, Isaac. Okay. Ah, oh, you make my mouth hurt with smiling. Uh, okay, okay. Amazing stuff. Thank you so much, Isaac. Thank you, as always, for submitting. You are a legend amongst the Fuse community. Now, I hope you realise that. 
Okay, let's go on to the next one here. We've got a Melon Kid game. Can we get some Melon based hype in the chat, please? Some sort of Melon. Melon based hype. Okay, okay, just faffing around with all the windows here. Excellent, thank you very much, Devious. Melon based hype incoming. Let's. That's what we like to see. Get those slices in the chat. And let's enter this game code. C5H63MNDSG. <laughs> Love it, Waldron. The energy is good today, I must say. Oh, it's thirsty work. It is thirsty work in this heat, I tell you. And praise the new king for ginger beer. The most refreshing of all drinks. Apart from maybe just water. Okay. Let's get reading. This is the cake delivery service by Milon. Melon. The deliverer of cakes. My first time using 3D code and... Uh, while I expected this project to come out half-baked, I think I whipped up a decent game. Melon. Trailblazer with these puns. Use left stick to move the camera. Press down on the stick to reset it. Press buttons to activate, deactivate objects of that color. A is green. X is blue. White or solid cannot be activated. Wow, this is, I'm going to have to figure it out as we go, I think. Your goal is to try and deliver the cake to birthday, Dave. Happy birthday, Dave. Ah, nice. Nice touch, Melon. Try not to land it in the lava, although new cakes... There's lava. Will always be made to replace the burnt ones. Challenge mode for level four. Maybe try this after beating the game. We've got a challenge mode. Melon. Okay, so A is green, X is blue. Let's try it. Let's try it. Huh. Oh, look at that. Huh. <laughs> oh, Melon, I'll tell you what, mate. My favorite thing about this is the fact that you chose to give me a sword. Okay? The fact that you represented me as the sword guy, that is a nice touch, okay? You know how to, pre how to please your audience. Okay, so we've got... Look at this mind-melting game! Dude! You know what I'm getting? I'm getting real, like... Scrubs vibes here, you know? As in, Scrubs the prolific Fuse creator. Um, this sort of 3D puzzle. I mean, Melon, you are a force. To be reckoned with. For a first 3D project, we've got some sort of complex interactions going on. We've got camera movement. Absolutely awesome. So, oh! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, that is absolutely awesome, Melon Kid. <laughs> oh, okay. So, blue object. How do we activate red objects? Do we have to like... Ah... Uh. <laughs> oh mate, this is just fantastic! So, how much time have we got here? <gasps> no, that's slow. Okay, we're quite slow. Too slow on that one. Okay, too slow. Okay. So, hmm. So now what happens? Oh, I have to bring me to the cake! Dude! Melon Kid, you are something else. This is fantastic. What a genius... Genius idea, mate. You successfully delivered the cake. That is really something. 
Melon Kid. Can we get a massive round of melon based applause? Okay. That is. That is absolutely phenomenally good. Seriously, Melon. Absolutely awesome. Yeah, 100%. We're going to go for the bonus level, of course. Of course. Let's change challenge mode to true and give it a go. Does this just, like, take us... Oh. Okay, we can still move the camera. Whoa, that flips as a... That's... That is somewhat trippy. So do we have to... Are we supposed to do it in this way? Okay, we're not supposed to move the camera, okay. Oh. Come on. Right, cake delivered. Oh, I don't know where I am. I think we're okay. I'm just gonna wait for that middle block to just go back up. <clears throat> yes! <laughs> and now we're looking at the- Oh, look, we even- we retain the camera controls for the cake, that's sweet! Hmm. That's awesome, dude! There is- yeah, that's- that is just great. That is really great. I'd love to see what you could do with that idea. You could push that idea quite far indeed. It's very, very clever. I'm very intrigued, Melon, how you, um, obviously, if you don't want to reveal your secrets, that's fine, but, <clears throat> you know when we've got, like, a level like this, like this first one, oh no, sorry, I mean the, uh, <coughs> the, the, the subsequent levels, so here, the placement of these platforms and the velocity that you've given the cake here, right, when you do this, how did you determine exactly where it's going to fall. Is it following a set? Is it a Bezier curve, perhaps? Are you are you following some sort of Bezier curve to ensure that you land wherever you place that last platform? Or were you trial and erroring different different sort of velocities and seeing what you got? I'm very intrigued to know. Um, I mean, obviously, an interpolation would make sense there. Really, really cool. Fantastic stuff, Melon. Well done. That is... Absolutely brilliant. Let's move on to the next game. <clears throat> it's kind of funny, actually. I just set the velocity to something and it went first try. <laughs> okay, or you could just be, you know, some sort of genius. That's fine, too. That's great. <laughs> it just sort of, just sort of threw the cake and it landed in the right place. I don't know, mate. Um, okay, right, let's get this next game downloaded. We have got a Steve game coming up next, people. Can we get... Um, can we get some hype in the chat? I was going to say theme again. Let's get some hype for Steve, please. And we're going to get this downloaded right now. S4D. S3. MND9D. Love it. Love that hype. Okay, here we go. Oh, we've got some reading to do. Okay. <clears throat> Colin returns in a piece of cake for Game Jam 24 by Steve. Colin returned from his trip down the mines. See Colin in the mines. Nice, nice plug, Steve. Nice plug. Stipe. <laughs> that does work, Mike, yeah. Uh, but thanks to a night of celebration, <clears throat> cakes and plonk, he's now spark out in bed about to have a terrible nightmare. Oh dear. Um, to wake up Colin, you must get him through 20 levels. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve, this is going to be hard, isn't it? Okay, 20 levels. 20 levels. But beware of the creatures and dangerous objects that inhabit his cake-based nightmare. <laughs> 
Many things are fatal to poor Colin, so please treat him with care and get him out of this. In his nightmare world, Colin has unlimited lives. But if you get to the end, points will be deducted for each death. Very, very nice. Oh, yes. Did I mention that it's not quite as simple as it sounds? I forgot to mention that there is one slight catch in order to complete each level, but I'll leave you to figure that out. <laughs> oh no. One last thing, collect the optional cakes for bonus points, but these cakes are self-aware, and they move when they hear you coming. <laughs> oh Steve, your, disc your game descriptions are always... they're great. I love your sense of humour, mate, I really do. Controls are D-pad, or left analog stick to move, and A to jump. Fantastic stuff. Uh, and Vinisti, I believe, plonk. I am just, I'm inserting whatever word works in the context there that you want. I'm actually really not aware. Um, ah, okay, Steve, right, clean that one up. Um, okay, <clears throat> here we go then, Colin. Let's do our best. Let's do our best to help you, Colin. I hope I can pull you out of this cake-based nightmare that you are in. Oh, love that title screen already. Oh, Steve, you've got... That is so... What a nice touch. <clears throat> you've made a... Is that... You've made a font. You have. You've made your own font, some cake-based fonts. That is some attention to detail. What a title screen. Anything but a piece of cake to make a title screen like this, Steve. Absolutely awesome. Straight up so far. Look at that. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay, let's go. Oh, Steve. Oh, your assets are just so... They're so good. Look at this. Look at the little animation on your guy there. No. Oh. Uh oh. No. We have a timer. We have to do it in the time. Very good. All right. <laughs> Candle obstacles, Steve. What a nice touch. Oh, it's difficult. Very good. Oh no. Classic birthday flamingo. Very good. Oop. What are they? Are they phones? Oh my word. Okay, we've just got to finish this one. And then... No, no! No. Oh! Oh, that's tough, man! Oh! The classic dichotomy of telephones or long jumps. Oh, that's so hard. How? No. Six seconds. Hmm. That is tough. <clears throat> Those phones look very Minta-esque. I feel the same way there. So let's... I'm not going to get any deaths here, but I do... No. I wonder if we can just make it through. Three... Two. Oh. Frying tonight. Oh no. Oh, that's hard, Steve. I like it, mate. No. Six seconds. Oh, it's tough. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm failing. Come on. Oh, give me that cake. Oh, it's one second over. Oh, the bad timing on the flamingo. I can see why it's a nightmare world. No. Right, we've got to do this. Oh, it's bad timing. Oh, no. Oh, Colin. Oh, too early on the jump. 
Please! Oh, Steve. This is hard, okay? No! no. Oh, what a unbelievable jump. Please. Oh, no! Oh. Do we know which is going to be? Two, middle two, end two. First, okay, great. <laughs> First one, next one. Oh, this is hard. Okay, it's got to be that I. That's a hard jump, dude. And it's tough because you've got to get the timer to. Oh, my word. Let's go! No. Oh, Steve, you cruel! You cruel! Oh! oh. <laughs> it's genius! You have such a good ability to just... You're so good at design, Steve. You really are. Too early! Oh! Oh, you can't waste a second. You actually can't waste a second. Oh, David. Okay. No, just jumped into nothingness. Oh my god. Whoo! <laughs> Waldron, if this doesn't get Dave swearing on air, mine will. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. This is absolutely cruel, mate. <laughs> you have to die at the exact right moment. Yes, you do. Let's go. Let's Very go. Good. Oh, I had to get the cake, though. See, I think we have to skip some because... Oh my god. <laughs> if we just do this, like, there's no way we get past that in time. But if you don't... Oh, Steve. I'm, like, pushing my Joy-Con, like, as hard as it will go here, right? This isn't a, this isn't a birthday present. This isn't birthday pain. Oh, no. God. Can we get? Can we? No, there is no jump that you can get to that second one. Okay, it's got to be the first. Oh, my God. Steve, did you do this? Okay, do you do you make sure that your that your games are doable? One, then two, then one, then two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's no point in doing that when we wasted time. One, two, one, two. Oh, you cake-based demon, Steve. <laughs> one second. Please! Get yes! It. Oh, let me have a minute. I need a minute for that. Oh. Okay, right. 60 deaths. This is definitely harder than Elden Ring. Mind the orange juice. He can't swim. All right, let's just see what the level's like. Okay, good. It's, it's impossible. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Two, one. Get in there. 16 seconds on oh, this one is a joke, isn't it? 
Oh, they're painful. Are we faster than this? Yes, we are. Oh, come on! Oh, but of course I'm out of time. No. No. No, David. No, you can't do that. Oh, I will actually hurt people. No, I won't. I won't. Look at this. Is you've already you're bringing out the worst in me. <laughs> okay. Let's just die. Oh. Oh, the I curse you. I curse. A thousand curses upon you, Steve. A thousand and one. We're gonna need every second, aren't we? Oh, I. I just need to die again. Okay. <laughs> wait. Okay. How about you wait? No point. I. I am bad. Okay, that's the problem. That's the problem. It's just badness. Okay, that's the issue. Oh, God. Whoo! The timer is just a bit too tight sometimes. Very fiendishly well done. Exactly, that's what, exactly what I'm talking about, Devious. Steve has this gift to find those thresholds of evil. Okay. <laughs> I'd give anything for just one more Colin Y speed minus one. Yeah, exactly. Go in the show case for sure, for sure, for sure. Friendly reminder that there are 20 levels. Yes, thank you, Ben. Ah, oh, just die, Colin. There we go. Okay, right back, back. Don't hurt yourself, please. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Colin. Oh no, it's too late. Four, three, two, three. please. Steve, you're just rude. That's that's your problem, Steve. You've got you've got no respect. Okay. <laughs> also, I want to just offer a quick disclaimer that I don't mean anything I say in these states of anger. So, four, three. It's, no, there's no point. There's no point in even trying. Jump over that. Easy job. I've got to let that one go, and then let that one go. Four, three. Two. One. Very good. Yes. <laughs> oh. Huh. Give that cake. Huh. Oh God. Okay, this level feels like we are slightly more forgiving here. Oh, that flamingo was just waiting. Death counter devious is at 95. <laughs> Three, two. No. Oh, Steve, I tell you what. I bet that that, um, I'm very interested to, oh, for God's sake. You gotta wait for the flamingo to be coming at you. That's the problem. Never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. Okay. Okay. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm so sad. This is the worst birthday ever. No, Steve. I hope you know I am kidding, Steve. Okay, this is absolutely fantastic. Just so you know. Okay, if anything to make me feel like this. Like, this genius, mate. I don't know how you. I don't know how you do it. It really is just outrageously clever. Oh, for God's sake, that phone again. The phone. <laughs> oh, hold the phone. <laughs> oh God, it's so hard. <laughs> This one is deceptively difficult, actually. 
How do you... How do we get over there in time? There's got to be... Can we make it to that? No, we can't. I mean, it has to be like an actually perfect run. Five, four, you see that flamingo there? Oh, the pain of a thousand suns. Oh, okay. Okay. We've got to hit this bit here with more than that many seconds on the clock because, okay, but it's a good rotation for the flamingo. <laughs> no. We did it! No, we didn't do it! One second! Oh. oh, Steve, this is actually doing things to my brain. It really is. Just die. Okay. It's so hard to get the right rotation on this. Oh, please! Three. Oh, Steve. So close. Thing is, with the flamingo, the flamingo has to be running towards you. And with the phone... Oh, really? With the phone, you can kind of get away with it. Oh, okay. How? No. Oh. <laughs> I've been pretty unlucky so far. It feels like I can never get like the rotation that I need. Because if you you, ha you really do not have time, so you can't. The, the flamingo has to be coming towards you. So... That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah. Two. Oh! Yes! The relief! Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. No. Oh, 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 zero seconds. Oh, dear. Oh, of course that was going to happen. Thing is, is that you, you really... You might as well just keep trying. Because eventually, like, you will hit the right timing. But it's going to take a while if you just... Yeah, no, maybe not. Oh, of course, yeah. Of course. I wonder if we can get away with just bouncing straight to that last platform. Get in there! Wait. Right. Yep. Okay, that one was not too bad, actually. Yep, that was bad. No. Difficult. Ah, no points. Just take me away. Oh, we're so close! We're so close! Okay, it's now just become about beating this, and not about even appreciating the wonderful artwork and the incredible level design.
Ooh, okay, you can just walk across those gaps. That's quite a cheeky trick. Tell you what, I've not been getting the cakes. Oh. No. Oh. Yeah, Andy, that's exactly what I'm thinking as well. I'd, to be honest, I'm a bit flabbergasted, Steve. Like, you've only had... Because, like, you said as well that, um... That you sort of changed... Didn't you Didn't you say that you, like, changed up your idea for this? Like, you started with one idea, then you sort of went for a different idea? No. The fact that you've been able to tune the game to this extent in the space of time that you've had is just insanity. I mean, it's just classic. Oops. Six seconds is not a long time. Oh, I messed up the jump. Not much sleep. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't imagine you did have much. No. No. Oh my word. That's a good rotation. In you go. Oh, what a shame. Oh, of course, yeah. We've got 20 seconds on this, and this one must be extreme. Oh, the phone again. Hold that phone. Oh, <laughs> Kong Beast. I only just looked at the title of this level, actually. You see, now I'm at, like, level 17. I feel like I've got to beat it. I only just noticed the lovely little footprint sounds, as, uh, footstep sounds as well, Steve. That's such a nice touch. It's so polished, isn't it? It is just so polished, which is... To be honest, fairly typical of Steve to make things just... Oh, unbelievably polished in the amount of time that you've got. Amoebatron, that's the name of those yellow guys. Hail to the Amoebatron, indeed. Oh, those spikes are mean. Bad rotation. We'll keep going. Okay, good rotation. Good. Late jump. Oh, s what was wrong with that that run? It was good. I honestly don't know where I killed any time there. Okay, we don't die on the lava. That's good. Very good. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I just wanted the cake. I see cake. I'm just... Oops. Oh. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I thought I was going to get that. Oop. Oh. Please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> God. Oh, God. It's been like 20 minutes on this. Oh, I thought I could make that little cheeky jump. No, oh, Steve. Do you know what, Steve, right? This is so much harder than Fire Giant in Elden Ring, okay? You're not allowed to complain ever again about Elden Ring's difficulty. You just can't. 
If you can do this, I believe that you can actually beat every single game in existence. <laughs> this is so much harder. Oh, God. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. No. No. No, oh, I thought we'd get back in time. No. No, what am I doing? Oh, come on. Oh, dear. Please? Thank you. Oh. What happens to these? Are they just inactive when they're red? I don't know. We'll see. Double phone chills. <laughs> Green is good, red is dead. Okay, that that is enough for me. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, I was a bit late on those jumps, you see. Oh, no! No. No. Nah. Oh, why? Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, good lord. Okay, I just cannot get past that anymore. See, the thing is... I can't... You can't wait. Like, if you wait, you just don't complete the level, so... Oh, good lord. So it's got to be... Oops. It's got to be as soon as that one's gone back to green. There we go. That's what I need. How? Oh, that one's... Oh, I wasn't expecting that to work. I thought I was going to die. Okay. Oh, we're only two levels up. We can't stop now. We actually can't stop. Gotta wait. Come on. We're in it to the end, okay? You're you're with me to the end. Oh, Lord. Lord, save me. Nope. Yes. Nope, not going to do it. No point. Unless... There's just, there's no point in attempting it if the time is going to run out. So it has to be as soon as that turns green, too late. Oops. Oh. Or does it have to be a slightly different No, there's no other there's no other timing it can be on this first row. 
Of course the phone was there. Oh, my microphone arm was just blocking that. <laughs> Typically. Okay. Right, I'm stopping. I'm done. We've got to move on. We've got to move on at some point. It's been half an hour on that. Actual half an hour. <laughs> Whew. Okay, I'm done. I'm done with that. Can we get a massive round of applause for Steve, please? Absolutely unbelievable. Unbelievable game. Unbelievable. I do not understand, Steve, how, how you were able to tune the games that like that. I don't understand. You've got, you must have some, you must have some intuition for it. I don't know. You, you, you are tuned in to the fabric of these difficulty edges. It's like, you know, the exact second, like the timer is always so tight and the platform timings are always so tight and everything is so clockwork. It's so impressive, honestly. I, I really don't know how you do that. It is just phenomenal skill. Phenomenal skill. It really, really is. So, Steve, thank you so much. Um, I'm just bowled over by that. The artwork, the level design, the, the sound. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I just don't know how you do that, Steve. It's really something you have. You, I really hope that you are immensely proud of yourself for that game because it is unbelievable. And one hundred percent showcase gallery. It's it's got to go in the showcase gallery. Uh, right. Okay. Let's have a look where we're at here. Okay. We have got a Lucas game coming up next here. Going to get this game code in the chat thing, on the box, whatever it is. There we go. Let's get this downloaded. Let's get some Lucas hype in the chat. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. I, I forgot it was even called that, Steve. You are... Uh. <laughs> Oh, God. Nice, Venicity. Showing off your katakana skills there. Hyper. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Uh, let's get this downloaded. N8. Uh, D. V7. Oh. By the way, I forgot to tell you, my death counter was at about 240-something, okay? <laughs> oh, so, I don't know what the point system would have been like, but... I imagine I would have got negative points there. Uh, M, N, D, 1, E. Right, Lucas, J, G... Fuse Game Jam 24, guess the number, beat the game, and, play, and claim your prize. I do hope that there is a cake in here somewhere. Steve, can I ask, um, are the points awarded by the cakes that you get? Is it like how many cakes you collected? Because I don't know how anyone is not getting negative points on that if it is. If it's like you get one point per cake collected and minus one for every death. Okay, here we go. <sighs> what have we got here, Lucas? Darth Cat. Is this still coming on PC down the road? Yes, indeed. Fuse uh, is being developed for Windows 
and uh, we are very, very excited for that, of course. Um, we're a very small team, so it's not something that is happening you know, as fast as we would love it to, but um, the answer is yes. So, Brain F Instructions, the plus button... adds an integer one to wherever our current memory pointer is in this array of RAM. And minus is to decrement that element. Our greater than and less than, oh, you get points per level, the more time left at the end, the more points you get, and the bonus points for the cakes also at the end, deaths times eight are deducted. Steve! Wow. Wow, indeed. Uh, and so we've got greater than is to increment our memory pointer, so to actually move an element along in this array, and less than is to decrement our memory pointer, so we're going to go down... Uh, one element in this array, and then we've got open square bracket to push instruction pointer to the stack and jump if the value that we find at this position in our RAM array is zero and it jumps if it's greater than zero. I am... Um, you only need to guess a number after VM execution to start off since there are... 3 plus, you insert 3 and press enter. <laughs> so plus, 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 minus, minus is 1. Unless this is not... Okay. Plus, 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 greater than plus. So plus, plus, plus would get us to 3. The greater than is going to plus one to that, because like four, then five? No, okay. Where's the cake, Lucas? Is it just at the end, there's like a little cake asset that comes up if you win? And it says, oh, by the way, there's the cake. I bet it's something like that. I bet it's something like that. Going to do this a second. There we go. So what have we got here? Plus, 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 greater than, then plus. So we begin at zero. One, two, three. And greater than, we're going over to, I guess it's a zero, and then plus. So could it be one? Aha, yes. Lucas. I promise you I did not read that message in the chat when I said one, okay? <laughs> I promise you I did not. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, this is very interesting. This is a very interesting little puzzle. I like this. So plus plus gets us to two. Ah, uh, 31. Yes, Ben, okay, yeah. So it reads the whole stack. Oh, that would have been sensible as well, actually. Plus plus... And then we are pushing the instruction pointer to the stack. But jump if we're at zero. So we're not at zero. Um, so we're not at zero. So we're pushing the instruction. When you say instruction pointer, what do we mean by instruction pointer? Because we've got mem pointer and instruction pointer. As in... Depends on if it's the whole tape or just the pointer being written. Yes, devious, yeah. I guess it's just the pointer that we're talking about when we're talking about the number we're guessing. So plus, plus, and then... Push instructor the pointer to the stack. It's not zero, so it's not going to jump. So... What do we have here at this point? Does that just... Does that push it one up? So we'll say that that's two, and then we're going to increment by one, so now we're at zero. We add one to that, now we're at one. We decrement by one, so now we're back at the two. Then we minus, so now we're at one. And then we pop the instruction pointer from the stack, 
but it's not it's greater than zero so when you say jump where are we jumping to that's what i want uh, that's what i'm a bit unclear on and then we add one at the end i'm just going to try two Okay, <laughs> it saves where it is in the code when you see that. When the VM seems to, when the VM sees this, if cell is not zero, jumps back to that. Oh. I see. So plus plus gets us to two. We push that to the stack, so let's save that there. We increment this by one so now we're at zero we've got a two and a zero and we've saved this point here on this two so we've got a zero that becomes one so we've got a one now we decrement we're back at two and we minus so we're back at one we are greater than so doesn't that just take us back to where we were and then we increment mem pointer by one so now we've got this one over here again and then we put a point there and then add one. So now we're at zero again. We add one to that. So now we've got a one. So we've got a two, a one, and a one, if I remember right. I need to, I need to get pen and paper here. So close bracket jumps to open bracket. Open, open bracket jumps, to, jumps after close bracket when it's zero. Turing would be proud indeed. I bet it's one. Nice try. Can I just say, Lucas, you've got a lovely, lovely um, text fading thing going on here. This is my favorite terminal that you've made so far. I really like this terminal. It's very pretty. The way that the text fades in and out is very nice. Uh, so it's probably two. Uh, and now we have pain and sadness. So, Lucas, tell me, is there a cake here? Is there a cake? I would like to know. And also, um, I would like you to all talk amongst yourselves for a second. As I, uh, I'm about to just... Be right back for a few seconds, and in the meantime, why don't you just go ahead and just solve, just solve this for me. Sort it out. I will put whatever number you have upon my return. Give me a second. Um, one sec. Apologies, everybody. Right, I am back. And I think it's time for me to open the window now. As I, I think that my neighbours... Oh, I've gone back inside, so... What have you got for me? What have you got for me? What have you got for me, chat? Zero, 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 six. So six. Ben? Have I ever told you? 
How much you mean to me. It's a lot, by the way. Oh, there's more than six levels. 91PKYT. Good to see you in the chat. Lovely to see you. Um, are you a new person? I believe you are. I don't recognize that name. Uh, so, so thank you very much for stopping by. And uh, yeah, welcome to the Fuse community. Lovely to have you here. Uh, so we've got here one, two, three increment. We've got um, another three. So we've got three, we've got three. Then we're going to go back to that three and make it two. Then we're going to jump back to that two. So now we're... Okay, we're back at where we were. I thought, do we need that? Closing square bracket. Now we're going to increment... So now we're back at the three. And we're putting a jump point here. And now we're going to move over to a new... No, no. Back up to that other one, which was a two, three, four, five... We're going back to the three, we're minusing. <laughs> I want to say it's three. Okay, five then. Oh. 27, three cubed. Wow, you guys. Impressive. That's very, very, very impressive, I must say. Um, However... Did message you on the website if you don't remember, but Fuse is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Um, do you do you go by a different name on Fuse Arena? Because I, that name doesn't I don't recognize, but uh, lovely to see you. I barely got any rest. Pulled an all-nighter on my submission. I have no idea what I made, <laughs> James. Good to see you, by the way, James. I didn't get a chance to say hello. Uh, add three to three, three times then. Uh, oh, 91 PK. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, right, um, I think, because we are now, we're going quite over here, so we've got quite a lot of games left, and I don't want the stream to run over too long, so I'm going to leave this one for other people to figure out. Lucas, can we get a huge round of applause, please, for Lucas, and his very, very, very impre- Oh, Lucas, that's the last level. Okay, 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 so it was one- <laughs> No, what was it? Three, sorry. <laughs> uh, it was one. Three, then one. One, two, three, then one. And then one... Uh, which one was this again? One, two... Duh. Move up. One, move down. We've got three, we've got two, we've got one. And then we're back... Is it one? Is it two? Ah! There's no backspace, so I have to go back and forwards. Two. Great job. Uh, what was this one again? Three. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, chat. Look at this. Look at the chat coming through here. This is the 27 one. And um, then we... Oh, wait. Did I make that one? No, sorry. I got that one wrong. I beg your pardon. That wasn't the 27 one. That's the one with the way more pluses than that. Uh, this one was six. This one was 27. And then this one you said was uh, six. <laughs> very, very nice, Lucas. Very nice. You see, I was scared that it was going to be like 10 levels or something, and it was just... Okay. Whew. <laughs> we got there. Okay, Lucas, that is really, 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 really something. Thank you very, very much, chat, for helping me out there. Um, <laughs> absolutely awesome. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Beautifully done. Lucas, well done. That is a, uh, I think that's... That's my favorite of your games that you've made so far, actually. The terminal's lovely, um, and I really like that that type of puzzle. It's actually really interesting. I uh, I'm, I need to do some more. I'd like to have um, more of a look into those Turing Machine-style things. 
Sour puzzles. I think that the brain F really throws me off uh, as well. Uh, what's one game that you like made by someone? KYT, do you mean um, Infuse or do you mean just games in general? Okay, right, moving on. Let's have a look at the next game. We have got to get through these guys. We've got to get through these. So I'm going to try and sort of speed up a little bit here. Um, so get this in here. Get this game code in your fuse. Um, infuse. Infuse. What are some of my favorites that I've played recently? Tell you what, this one, Five Senses by Richard. I'm gonna say that this one is a very is a more recent favorite of mine. The thing is, KYT, that there is there's been so many fuse games that uh, it is very much it's actually very hard to remember. But I'm just gonna pick one from my recent uh, history here. Five Senses. This is by Richard, and uh, you can find the game code for it in the previous game jam absolutely fantastic game they're all fantastic but that one really stuck with me um really really stuck with me the sort of genius mechanic behind it okay right we need to get this game code in here let's speed up let's speed up 51e <clears throat> 43mndxh 51e 43mndxh what's wrong with that What's wrong with that then? What have we got to do here? This is Andy G85. Can we get some G85? Oh, I've just been told that uh, he's resubmitted. So allow me to just lay an approval on that there. And then this should work. There we go. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Cool stuff. Okay, can we get some hype for Andy G85 in the chat, please? Um, and let's have a read. Maisie's moods. Oh, don't worry about it, Andy. That's fine. I was really pushed for the time this weekend and unfortunately wasn't able to fine-tune the gameplay. Uh, I have a list of things that I wasn't able to add, but I hope people enjoy it anyway. And you've got a little to-do list there as well. This is a mess, I'm afraid. <laughs> Andy, you're just trying to like get it all out there. Quick. Please. Don't, don't, don't judge me. Um, you know for a fact that we are just happy to have any submission at all. Bug filled or not, broken or not, finished or not. It is just awesome that you spend the time at all and choose to be here. That's the thing I appreciate. Um, okay, so let's go. Bisque. Look at that bisque flooding me, nourishing me, nourishing. I photosynthesize from this bisque. I generate nutrients. <clears throat> oh yes, and also say hi to Maisie, Andy, please. Baby Maisie has grown giant-sized and is menacing the city. The army has been dispatched to calm her down. Make sure she gets what she wants or the city could be destroyed. <laughs> you know babies. Use LNR to select your vehicle, left analog to drive it, B to drop the load. Pay attention to what Maisie wants and watch the mood meter. Three tantrums means game over. City destroyed, I take it. Let's... Oh no! Oh. There you go, Maisie. <laughs> Look at this! Oh no, she doesn't want cake. I mean, she doesn't want cherries. Oh no. Oh! How do I give her what she needs? Oh, she needs cake. There's no cake to give her. Look at this little truck, though. Oh. Oh. Oh, we've got... Oh, my word. I'm so... I completely did not realise. Wait, how do we... Ah, ZLZR. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm 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 with you now. Right. <laughs> Get this, please. No. Oh, Maisie, please. Oh, the city's destroyed. <laughs> that is absolutely wicked, Andy. What a crazy idea. 
Okay, I'll try. I'll try that better. I'll try that better. So, cake, lorry. Wait, what have I just picked up? Get that cake. Give it to the cherries. Needs this. And how do we? I need to give her the cherries. How do I get up there? Can I? Do I have to like go up here? Oh, no. Oh. Ah, okay, we can sort of deposit up there for the truck to go and get. But now we've got to get a cookie, which we somehow do have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need another cookie. No, we need bananas. Okay, there's bananas. Get the truck. No, she doesn't want bananas anymore, Maisie. Oh, she didn't want that at all. <laughs> this is chaos. It's absolute chaos. And I can imagine actually quite accurate to what having a child is like. So Candy Cane. I love the the progression of her of her annoyance. Candy, you have just the graphics that you've made there are absolutely incredible. That that sprite is incredible. It's just incredible. It's so good. It's so good. And it's such a creative sprite. I don't know how you did that. The animations on it are great. The um, the expressions are absolutely wonderful. Oh, fantastic. Can we get a massive round of applause, please, for Andy G85? There's something very, 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 very good in this. Yes, Devious, I agree. Andy G, I hope that you carry it on. Um, that is a charming idea and a really nice use of that theme. You know, you've taken that little one little sprite and you've made something incredibly unique, really artistically brilliant. I loved the animated background. The premise is really unique. You've got such a good mind for this, honestly, Andy. That's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Congratulate. Well done. And thank you very much for submitting as well. Um, we are on to a Waldron game next, and I believe I'm in for some pain. So can we all get some hype for Waldron in the chat? Um, I'm going to apologize in advance, uh, Waldron, if it's... I don't want to spend quite as long because the night's getting on here. So I, um, if I'm struggling too much, I might stop and we can leave it for maybe a f another day. Uh, for a showcase gallery, we can do a nice... High score challenge, anything to prevent me from having some sort of aneurysm. Okay. <laughs> when you can't swear, it, it makes it more difficult, actually. Oh, I appear to have carried a coaster with me. Okay. Okay, right. Here we go. Super Fuser. A game of five, a game of challenges, five challenges in fact. Complete all five challenges for each level to progress on to the next. Game over will not start you from the beginning. <laughs> nice. Uh, however, it will reset your challenges for that level. <clears throat> uh, 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 the five challenges which can also be tracked via the pause menu are as follows. Complete the level, collect the specified amount of coins, don't touch the floor, complete the level with 20 seconds, find the cake. Multiple runs of the level will be needed to complete all the challenges, though you may be able to get two to three challenges in one run. Hold X to run, A to jump, and Y to fire. Ooh, that sounds like difficult controls. Huh. Wow, Andy. Oh, X to run. Oh, I think... Oh, right, yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Andy, look at this. I do wonder where your inspiration came from. Look at this animation, dude. And the the improvements that you make just... Oh, okay. You know what? I was just going to compliment you. I take it all back. Take it all back. No, the improvements are just staggering. Can we go down there? No. Huh? 
Ooh. Super glove. Oh, why isn't... Oh, wow! Look at that! Look at that, that's awesome, mate! Oh, that's... Oh, I failed. <laughs> okay, one of the challenges was don't touch the floor. Which, I presume... Ah, yes, the red. Oops. Oh, I thought I might, I thought I was gonna get the um, the chain jump on that. I really felt that, but I alas. So I like that you've got this little visual for. Oh, get up there. Where's the cake going to be? Ooh. Oh, <laughs> so sad. I am so sad. <laughs> oh, sadly, I've got to go, but might be back to watch. See you later, 91P. Kate, YT, it was lovely to see you. Um, and yeah, have a lovely rest of your Sunday. And if we don't see you, then have a good tomorrow as well. I'm not sure if I can... Is the... Oh, no! Is the fire button working? Or is that not the fire button? Is, is, is that not the fire enabling device? Got to find this cake as well. Oh, look at these graphics, Andy. They're so good. I'm wondering if it's going to be... Well, that's a tough jump, but... How do you make that jump? Oh, it's tough, that. I wonder if we can still get the coins. Oh, that's the end of the level. Andy, hats off, mate. Hats off. That is a fantastic, fantastic game. You have out. You have really... You've really outdone yourself there, actually. The quality's ridiculous on this. We can go down this one. Oh, X to run, of course, of course. Ah, oh, look, we can get up there somehow. But how? Is there some sort of secret? Block. There's got to be. Oops. And it brings us out at the very, very beginning. Oops. Whew. I am um, thinking there. <laughs> you need the power glove to smash the blocks. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Does this count as touching the floor? So we need the power glove and then maybe we need to go back inside. Oh, that does count as touching the floor. Oops. So... Oh. 
That wasn't a great attempt. Oops. Oh, David. So... Right. Oh. But now... I'm intrigued. How do we get up there? Hmm. So I need to find this cake as well. Mushroom. No cake, though. Where is the cake? Absolutely phenomenal work, Andy. Seriously. Look at this. I'm, I'm so impressed by that pause menu. I missed the smashable block near the beginning. This one. Oops. I think that the pause menu might cause some sort of... It feels like it, it gets less smooth. Right, of course, and then, so we get the power glove. And then we go into the pipe and then we go out the beginning. And now we can power glove. There's the cake. All right, that's me done. <laughs> can we get a humongous round of applause, please, for Mr. Waldron? And I like that you've already put that fuse license agreement in there. Um, very, very strong contender for the showcase gallery, for sure, for sure, for sure. Really brilliant, really, really brilliant. That is one of the most polished. I. It, Really excellent, Andy. Your improvements are showing all the time. That felt really nice to control. It was polished. Um, the, just the animation and the graphics always, as, as always, are just stellar from you. Truly brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. The quality of these of these games tonight has been really something. Um, I'm going to move on so that we um, try and manage to get through everything. Let's have some hype, please, for Dino Coder. Dino Coder usually makes something that's got some real nice artistry going on. So let's have a look at what we've got here, what he's bringing us today. Um, let's get some Dino hype and get this game downloaded. 5D XL7. We've got an M. We've got an N. We've got a D and an N and an F. Classic game code right there. Oh, sorry, if you keep seeing me touch my face like this, I had a really, the last few days I have had really bad swollen glands on this side. Uh, well, swollen gland, I presume. And uh, I think the amount of talking is irritating it a fair bit. So do forgive me if you see me sort of grabbing my face a lot and going, ah. Uh, okay, Kate Delivery Service by Dino Coder for Fuse Games on 24. Happy late birthday, Dave. Thank you very much, Dino. That's lovely of you. Thank you. It really means a lot. You are a delivery driver for a bakery. Pick up cakes and deliver them. You are new to the area, so you will have to find the drop-off locations. Your first delivery is to Fuse for David Silvera's birthday party. <laughs> the full the full formal name there. That's uh, that's how you know it's, it's legit. Uh, hold A to accelerate, left thumbstick to steer, B to brake. Use press X to toggle cruise control. And pressing A or B will release it. Press Y when stop to load cake. Currently, you can drive however you want. There are no police or other cars to what. That's always nice. Run out of gas and it's game over. Let's let's see what we've got. 
Nice, nice background already. Love the title screen. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Wait, so we need to go and find Fuse. Shoes, games, hospital, restaurants, post, police. What a fantastic idea this is. There's Fuse. Let's break. Wait, did this... Did that, did that do the trick? Oops. And we have a uh, we have a honk. So do we have a cake here? How do I drop off the cake? I want to just just read this again. Um. Right, press Y when stopped. Okay, there we go, there we go. To also purchase gas. Dino, what a cool idea. Now, it said we can hold four cakes at a time. Now, I'm wondering if it's worth just waiting for another one, but we'll see. So, fuses at the very top. Let's go. And we've got to slow down. Nice. Nice. We get five cash. And now we've got to go and pick up more cake. Dino, this is absolutely spot on. I love this. And also, I'm not driving properly because, like, I'm just sort of holding down... Oh, you know, you can break. Okay, yeah, B is to break. So we can keep loading up on cake. Awesome. Get four cakes on the go. Ah, uh, and when the sound goes off, we are failing our delivery, so we need to find construction. That was down here, wasn't it? Oh no. Okay, we've got some cash. Um, let's get another cake or two. I don't know if we have to like... Warehouse, library, music, fire, theatre. Fire, that'll do. So you've really got to drive properly because you've got to, you've got to time things properly. The, the theatre. Awesome. Now I love me some crazy taxi. Oh, fuel, Steve. Thank you. Oh god, where was that? Uh-oh. Where was that? Is it near? We need to really have a good idea of where we're going. One fuel left. Oh no, where's the garage? We got zero fuel. Oh, gas. Ah, zero? Hmm. Maybe I did something wrong. It felt like we were getting... Do we have to take the cash back to... Maybe we have to take the cash back to the cake shop to, to get our to get our cake delivery quota filled. 
Anyway, can we get a huge round of applause, please, for Dino Coda? That is a very, very intriguing game, and I want to see that pushed even further. Dino, that is a really cool... I love... I'm a big, big fan of Crazy Taxi. Um, I don't know if you... I mean, I'm assuming that you're aware of the game, because there's such a similar vibe going on in terms of the gameplay mechanic, but the idea that you have to go and get fuel and, you know, slow down at the right rate and learn the layout of the city, I love that. I really, really love that. Um, and you've always, as always, outdone yourself with the creativity on the maps and the assets that you use, so absolutely brilliant. Um, Dino, proper legend, Fuse legend, thank you so much for submitting. Um, let's have a look at the next one. We've got a few more, so let's see if we can get through these in a timely fashion. Can we get some a hype a for a devious and spider? Um, just get everything back up here. There we go. Yes, Finicity Crazy Taxi is one of my favorites as well. Awesome game, and Crazy Taxi 2 was brilliant as well. Um, okay, let's get this downloaded. We've got XP 663 MN D N Z. Okay, by Spider and Devious. Uh, cake target. Toss a cake to the target, launch with A, use the left stick to nudge direction, and the right stick to act slash decelerate the fall. Happy birthday, Dave. Thank you so much, Devious Spider. That's very, very sweet of you. Thank you. It really means a lot. Um, oh, you guys, it's really sweet, okay? I get a lot of good... It's nice. I get a lot of good feels uh, doing these. I really do. So toss a cake to the target, launch with A. Let's Let's just see how we do. Yeah, we've got that classic title screen. Love that. Love that effect that you do there. <laughs> uh oh, that's way too far. <laughs> okay. No, way too far again. Pathetic. <laughs> I like it. I like it. It's silly. It's fun. Oh, nice. Nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, spot on. Well, that's really far. Oh, oh, this cake growing legend. That's going to have to be quite a shot. Oh, too far. Just about, just about, just about. That's an orange. Yeah, yeah. I think an, an orange. Oh, red's too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's going to be max distance. Oh, just still. There's a bit too much. Yellow. No. <laughs> oh, there's just something very, very fun about this. There's just something just inherently... Eight. Oh. Oh, decelerate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, how do we decelerate again? Is it... Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah, so we can... Ah, I see. Yes, 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 yes. Oh! Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel that now. Oh, that's too much. We just pulled it back in time. <laughs> oh! I want to get the 10. Oh, no, that's way too fast. Oh. oh, five. Nine. <laughs> yes, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to know, Devious. Does it just keep going, or? 
Oh, that was miles away. Miles away. Six. Four. Ah. Nope. <laughs> Oh, miles off. Ah. Oh. Surely that's got to be the full whack. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. Absolutely brilliant. Could we get a huge round of applause for Devious Spider, please? That is excellent. I love me a very, very silly game and uh, great sound, great use of the assets. Love it. Absolutely love it. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Um, all right. We're nearly at the end here, guys. Uh, so we've made the time. We've just about made the time happen. We've got here a Venicity game. Can we get some hype, please, for Venicity? And here is the download code Devious. I think that was <laughs> that was a lovely refresher. I think I needed that right after Steve's game there, just to sort of cleanse my. <laughs> it just sort of it was nice and chill and just throwing cakes and stuff. Um, yeah, that other one rose my got my bro my, my blood pressure going. I tell you, uh, nice, nice, nice. I'm glad mine is fast so you can zoom through. Also, hype. Okay, excellent. Let's get this downloaded. We've got 5-7 NM3 MN. Oh, God. D5C. It's not going to be easy for us, is it? It can't make it easy for us. Uh, okay. Venicity. Here we go. Strange happenings in Castle Blackpool. The intrepid knight Sir S woke up in the middle of the night. He was feeling a bit peckish, but unfortunately, all the cake... Oh, wrong glass. All the cake in the castle had been cursed by an evil witch and transformed into bloodthirsty monsters. What to do? Sir S decided to venture down into the cellar and defeat the monsters, since that would transform them back into delicious cake. At the start of the game, the player receives a random deck of cards. From this deck, a hand of five cards are drawn. Select a card to perform the action on the card. If none of the cards seem useful, you can dis five all fi discard all five to get new ones. The game then continues in a turn-based fashion. Try to defeat the monsters and then eat cake. They transform into more monsters will appear over time. Restarting the game will randomize the deck and even give you different cards. As always, greetings to amazing the amazing few people all over the world. Happy late birthday to Dave. I hope you ate lots of cake. I did indeed. Wow, okay. Intriguing. Venicity. Some sort of card-based, delicious monster and cake times. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Nice. Nice asset here. You know, funnily enough, this was the background asset I was using in my card-based game I started making. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay, so... We need to go... We, we need to get in front. We need to get... Sorry. So, frontal attack, I assume, means in the direction we're facing. So, can we go two steps south, followed by... Frontal attack. Let's go. One step south. Oh. Give me that cake. Oh, this is awesome. Um, Look at this. This is clean, Venicity. This community just absolutely bowls me over. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. The scope of the games, the spread of, of the games, it's just... So, 
two steps west. Oh, we've got an evil knight on the board. Now, we need to go north. Bow attack. Oh, I like the bow attack. Um, I like this tune I did, you know. It's actually probably my favorite of all the songs I made. I just like this bit. Just to, you know, toot my own keyboard. Uh, two steps north gets us the cake we deserve. But what is going to happen to that? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Once... What does a spin attack do? Is that going to be like all directions? Let's see. Oh, we're going to get tromped. Okay, yeah, that's just like a total adjacent adjacent tiles thing. And in the corners. Um, we can't get that bit of cake. So we're going to have to just... I mean, I want it. One step north gets us there. Vesti, how did you do this? It's <laughs> There's so much cleverness going on here. It's just... Oh. So what I want to know is if we're facing in a direction... Oh, west. I meant east. I want to go east. Um... So if we go east, I want to know if the bow attack would... Yeah, would it just go in the direction we're facing? If so, we can... We need the bow attack. Bow attack. Go, let's go. Destruction. Okay, so now we go west. No, not west. East. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? Okay, east. Can we go... See, two steps south. And then we bow attack. Ah. Oh. Might as well. Let's spin attack here. Um, we can't be doing... We can't really be doing any of this here. We're getting quite close to the monsters. The two steps east... I want to... I really want that cake. <laughs> we do have a bow attack, though. Uh-oh. We need a spin attack here. Let's just get rid of this guy. Yes. Spin. Nice. We got another spin attack. Um... Oh... We go two steps south, and that's going to get us into the monster. But that, so does that take our health away? Yes, and it stops us there. Okay, that's interesting. Um, one step west, two steps east. Frontal attack. We'll go north. We'll go north. This is ridiculously good. Absolutely ridiculous. Minister is genius. It's genius. Now, how did you come up with this? The theme... You saw this cake. You saw this cake and you were like, you know what? You know what this cake makes me think of? Some sort of turn-based card sort of tactical card based tactical um chess like game how do you which wires are crossing there this is phenomenal dude absolutely phenomenal can we get a massive round of applause for venicity please um this game is very interesting indeed i think an immediate showcase hit for sure for sure it's really good because now with the player patch out and the problem fixed so we can have all these nice new games in the showcase gallery this is going to be uh this 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 game jam is is has been great for getting some uh, some showcase material so fantastic um absolutely unbelievable work i i am i am bowled over i am completely 
And I'm managing to find words, but none of them are describing the thing very well. They are... Um, these games have been really staggeringly brilliant. Everybody's games. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we're on to the last game of the evening, guys. Can we get... A bit of James Morris hype in the chat, please. And here we go. Here we go. Let's get this downloaded. DF R3 MND S L, what have I missed? DF7 R3 MND SL. Okay, now I've been told that it's a little. Uh, there's a bit of a warning um, in terms of volume here. So I'm, I've been advised by Cat to change a particular line. Uh, just one number. Now, I'm not reading the code, okay? I'm not reading code at all. I'm just going to change this volume to 0 0.5. Wait, hang on. Channel... Yeah, channel handle volume. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, let's have a look. James Morris hype. Mm. Now, if I know James... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, it's so cursed. It is so cursed. James, that lettering that you do is incredibly effective. I don't know how you do that. I really don't know how you do that. It is very effective. Dave's final encounter. Just in case it wasn't ominous enough already. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh we're back in the code oh my word James <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh look how nice and chill it starts with the bisque text <laughs> James. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> that is a very cool effect. Excellent, James. Brilliant, 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 brilliant. I I love it. I love it. I love that um, that's what you did with the cake. Again, like, you see the cake, it's like, yeah, I know what I'll do with that. I know what I'll do with that. Excellent. What an amazing game, Jams. Oh, the submissions tonight have been amazing. I really like... Um, let me know, what, what do you think about this sort of a theme, chat? Because it seems like there was a massive amount of creativity on show here. Really, really lovely, diverse selection of gameplay mechanics, um, use of the assets, 3D and 2D. Um, I think that, I mean, if we really, if, if you think that this asset restriction type of theme works for you guys, then we can do it more, because it really seemed that... Um, I really, really like the results from that. Uh, it's great to mix it up. Yeah, I agree. I agree, Vin. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we'll 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 keep it we'll, we'll keep it mixed up. I do have an idea for a game jam theme that I'm scared to use because it feels like it's a lot to ask, but I'm I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Um, no waffle. Uh, as usual, Steve Waffle is downstairs, tucked in this little corner with all. He's got this new hiding place where, like, where all the clean laundry is. He'll, like, chill under the clean laundry. I mean, I don't I don't blame him. I mean, it's pretty... must smell really nice amongst all the clean laundry. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. 
Uh, he's not much of a showbiz cat, Ava Waffle, I'm afraid. Okay, right. Uh, with all that said and done, uh, I would just like to have a massive, massive fuse round of applause for everybody in the community, everybody in the chat right now, uh, everyone who submitted their game to this uh, incredible game jam. Um, seriously amazing stuff tonight, everybody. Well done. Yes, 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 indeed, yes, indeed. Seriously, uh, fantastic stuff. I have loved and thoroughly enjoyed all those games. Uh, the challenge has been brilliant. The hilarity has been amazing. I just love it. I really do. That has been uh, one of my favorite game jams in terms of the games that we've had, I think. Um, I mean, they're always just awesome, but uh, yeah, that one, I love, I just love the spread of what we had tonight. That was, a, it was like a crazy tour down all these different places and everyone was out in full force showing the stuff that they are best at. You know, we had incredibly challenging and tightly tuned and beautifully retro Steve classic. We had brilliantly drawn Waldron classics. We had this ingenious creativity of Andy G85's Maisie game. We had the the wacky awesomeness and hilarity of, of Devious's game. Um, we've got the the just outrageous genius of Vanisti. We've got the jump scares of James. You know, we've got the the Richard classics as well. The genius mechanics of Richard. We had the we even had the 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 language VM implementation from Lucas. And we had the beautiful artistry of Dino Coda. Uh, and we also had the Isaac absolute classic template as well. So just brilliant. And obviously not forgetting the Melon himself as well. With a new genius foray into 3D. Some brilliant mechanics on show there. Just brilliant. Absolutely nuts. Really, really, really amazing stuff. So I'll be putting all the game codes in the chat, uh, in, in the description box as usual. So you can check those out down below if you want to download all the games. Um, and um, the thumbnail and all that stuff will be edited probably most likely tomorrow because it takes a while to upload everything uh, once it's all done. Okay, so can I get, uh, again, a um, big round of applause for everybody. Uh, and thank you so much for coming and hanging out. It really does mean a great deal. Don't forget to like the video, um, subscribe and all that good stuff. And uh, thanks so much, everybody. Have a lovely bank holiday tomorrow if you are in the UK. Um, enjoy. Uh, put your feet up and make sure that you don't do um, any work if you don't have to. <laughs> um, but if you do have work tomorrow, then my condolences I'm, I'm really sorry um, for saying all of that then. That's probably really annoyed you. Um, but obviously, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm sure you'll get your day off that you deserve soon. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Have a lovely, <laughs> have a lovely rest of your evening uh, and a lovely day tomorrow. And we will see you at the end of the month for another Fuse Game Jam. I have been Dave. Ben has been Ben in the chat there. Uh, Cat's been Cat. We're all who we are. Uh, and that is that is that isn't it so lots of love okay <laughs> see you later guys thank you very much again